The Owen James Report is brought to you by... All the flavor and the quality that you rate Lasco always makes it great When money's tight you can't debate Lasco value on your plate Lasco, everyday family value These days, you've got to watch the dollars That's why Lasco makes sense Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Lasco quality complete Taste and value can't be beat Lasco helps us make ends meet Lasco, everyday family value Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. Junior market company Paramount Trading is reporting net profit of $35.2 million for the six-month period ended November 30, 2013. This on the back of a 10% increase in revenues, which amounted to $332 million. The company was aided by the expansion of its food chemical product range, as well as benefits from the tax holiday awarded to junior market companies. Amidst continued high demand and low supply conditions, the benchmark American dollar strengthened by 14 cents Jamaican to close at an average selling rate of $106.62. The British pound also strengthened, gaining 7 Jamaican cents to close at $176.02. However, the Canadian dollar declined by 83 Jamaican cents to close at $98.33 Jamaican. The American dollar peaked as high as $108.68 Jamaican selling. News on the Jamaican stock market now and losses by Jamaica broilers, lime and supreme ventures mainly triggered declines in the Jamaican stock market indices today. The main JC index declined by 211 points from 5th of 1%. 33 stocks traded with 9 advancing, 14 declining and 10 holding firm. The winners included the entertainment stock C2W Music up almost 107%. Carb Cement, Carreras, Alaska Financial Services, Radio Jamaica up 46% and Sagicor Group Jamaica. The losers included DNG, Grace Kennedy, Jamaica Broilers Group down 4.3%, Lime down 5.2%, NCB and Supreme Ventures, the day's big loser down 5.6%. Lasco Financial Services via its Monogram Remittance Service is this week's second company to indicate readiness to fill the vacuum to be left by NCB when it exits the remittance market on January 22. Earlier this week, Grace Kennedy said its Western Union franchise was ready for additional customers. Today, Alaska Monogram is assuring customers that its 90 locations across the island which are close to NCB outlets, are also ready to welcome new customers. Lasco Financial Services says its agents are prepared to absorb the anticipated additional customers. Finally, in news overseas, American department store Macy's yesterday said it was laying off 2,500 workers to generate savings of $100 million annually. Now guess what? Investors shared the move, sending up Macy's stock price by 6.4%. A stock analyst with Guilford Securities described the move as extremely favorable and proactive. Favorable to investors, perhaps, but not to those 2,500 workers. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by... Let's go. 